Elevated Greats Podcast. Elevated Greats Podcast. With your host, Seth. Your host, Seth. And stylist, oh yeah, Fashion Pedro. It's time to get started. Let's talk fashion, shall we? Welcome to Elevated Grapes. I am your host, Sethi. I'm stylist Rashi Bindra. Who's leaning back on the chair? No, no I'm just... Falling asleep? asleep? No, I'm, I'm not falling asleep. I'm just, like, hungry. That's I all. told you I'd feed you, bro. Okay, let's, 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 let's do the show first, and then I'll be fed. Okay. <laughs> so, we are now in our third week of January, and yeah. the year is flying by. Already. January's almost finished. It's been an interesting month. We had a lot going on. Yeah, my sister got married. I know. Congratulations. And so we were all in Punta Cana for that. So that was a lot of fun. Yes. I was there just for four days though. But Yeah, we did the, the full seven day uh, gamut with four days of crazy wedding events. Yes. For those that are familiar with Indian weddings, there are a lot uh-huh. going on. There's a million events. Yeah. Pre-events prior to the main event and then the and post then, event, which yep. is the reception. Yep. And mm. then the party that's still, no, then the after party apparently that's still happening after the reception. So <laughs> That continues. And then for those that stayed back the additional three days, it's uh, three days of, of continuing to party. Yeah. 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 I mean, like I, I was doing a, as were you, but like we were like kind of on call. Yes. And we had a lot of duties. Yes. So we didn't, you know, for the first few days, it was a lot of kind of, okay, well, we got to be alert and ready to go so you know sleep on time and be up on time and mm-hmm. you know don't be stupid but then the, the, once the reception was done i was like I, don't anybody talk to me yeah see i didn't this i didn't is when, have this that. Is when my vacation begins see i i didn't have that because <coughs> once the reception was done and we had like that that party a bit after then i came back and i had to shoot on the 20th so i landed on like like our time here, I think it was like two a.m. or something mm-hmm. on, on the twentieth. And that day, I had a had a shoot, so that. So was you came back to work. I left working. I was on call there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I came back to work. Literally. Well, it, do you know what the interesting thing is too? Is and again, I'll, we'll just touch on this really quickly. Is is um, just a, from a fashion perspective too? Like there is the type of Indian fashion is really interesting too. It's, mm-hmm. it's very bold, very in your face, very. Yeah loud i guess you can call it lots of colors very bright very bright lots of colors uh the work is very prominent that are on the Mm -hmm. outfits too you know you'll get a you know nowadays not now it's been you know the guys suits for example you'll have a lot of the the embroidered work and and the print and Mm -hmm. the graphic work on the blazers women's outfits in in indian fashion have had that for years and years right and but it's i mean we see guys blazers nowadays that have some of that but it's it's a lot more bold and in, in mm-hmm. indian outfits um so the way they they did this was they had the and they, they kind of did it this way just to have different fashion mm-hmm. um pieces come in so they did a white party which was you know they kept it non non-indian but just sort of to keep with the beach theme yeah they did the the second event was a bit more a bit more cultural so they they just wanted bright colors but for primarily Indian clothes. Mm-hmm. And again, so that was really nice too because a lot of different people came with different yeah. styles and, and, and th- there's so many ways to wear traditional outfits now and they're, and they're so different. So that was kind of nice to see from a mm-hmm. color perspective. Uh, and then the reception is what you did, the black tie. So people came came in the suits. They kind of hit like the different yeah. fashion yeah. segments within within that those four days. And too. then all the dances <clears throat> that you yeah. guys did. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's like one big Bollywood movie. Oh, for absolutely. Four days. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I mean, I just, I, I watched all the dances, given my terrible dancing skills, but... <laughs> yeah, I think, I think there was an executive decision made at some point where, where, where Rashi was like, I, you know what, as much as I would like to, I think I will spare the world <laughs> and not partake in the actual... In any of these practices, no. I in will the actual just, dancing. I will support in, and give my love in different ways. And Absolutely, which you did, you did. You, 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 were, you were more than... Which turned out being doing the shoots. <laughs> yeah, you did, you did a lot of amazing stuff. So it was just, it was just, yeah, it's it, it was, there was a lot of the dances. Um, so all in all, it was, it was it was a lot of fun, a lot of family and friends. But the fashion was really nice to kind of see too. I get to go to a lot of these, and I and, and, I and think it is it's always it's always nice because they're, they're fashion is such a big part of of that, world. of that world. And I think what's also now really interesting, and we'll put up pictures of these, is that um, a lot of like some like some of the looks were were very fusion, and that's been crossed yes. over. Even you know last year when we saw fashion shows, even the the year before now, um, 
Indian fashion is not just like relevant in India anymore, right? It and even the uh, styles of clothing has been kind of you know crossing over to like what we call the Western world and and vice versa. Um, you will see people here who want to have the work on their jackets. You, they oh yeah, yeah, have yeah. The um, the we the see influences of, of, of it everywhere. everything. And what's really interesting, um, you know, seeing at uh, um, uh, Arthi's wedding was that. You, you saw that, you saw that, that mix of styles yes. and you saw that fusion outfits and you just, you know, and you saw the colors. So yeah. I think that was a huge fashion statement. And that's where it became a, a, a very different um, turning point for you as well, just in terms of, you know, your fashion too, mm-hmm. being like... But we did even, even for... Even for her husband's, um, yeah, which and you styled blazer. him, yeah. yeah, yeah. So even for his blazer that we got, like we got it to kind of match. Like she wore a traditional Indian piece that was again a bit, mm-hmm. a bit more fusion, but it mm-hmm. had a lot of traditional Indian elements. It was, yeah. But it, the blazer we got him was also very embroidered, but was very similar work. Mm-hmm. Not exactly the same, but as you'd say, it was a similar vibe in yeah. terms. Of, and just so that as they walk in, it, it kind of it kind of flowed together. When we first went to look at it, and we I saw that piece, and I was like, well, that's actually the perfect material for his blazer. Mm-hmm. And I showed it to my sister, and she's like, it looks so similar to the work that's on her outfit. So, you know, we, we paired, but again, that that was not, it, we didn't, it wasn't uh, an Indian fashion store. It was like a, a regular, like, suit yeah. fitted, fitting suit store, and that's where we got it from, a suit shop. But it's just that the way the the elements that you see in 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 both both Western and Eastern cultures, like there's a lot of fusion between, and it's not just like Indian clothes; it's it's you know different cultures. Like oh yeah, yeah. It's yeah. fusion, and there, there's a lot of elements of different different cultures and and clothes that everybody wears now. Right. So that that was really nice to see. Um, so that was that's the wedding talk. Uh, <laughs> a lot of interesting fashion, a lot of fun. Uh, really amazing experience. Good to be in the sun for a little bit during the gloomy weather uh, that we're facing in January. It's not, it's not as cold. It's I mean, not it's as cold as like it's normally been. Overall, I mean, yeah, we, we we got some days, but overall, it's been it's been nice. November was still terrible. Yeah, November was terrible, but January, I mean, yeah, for the most part, it was, it was, a, it was a mix. It was a mixed bag. Mm. So, so we wanted to get into a conversation today about the fashion industry again, but more specific to looking at it from an outsider's perspective. An outsider's perspective, which is <coughs> where you know you come in, I think, because. You know, again, picking up a bit from our last week's conversation, um, you entered the fashion world last year as a host and as a and as a DJ, and you helped me out with some planning, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was not your typical network, right? It was no. very different for you. So you dabbled into it. You had to. You you faced your own challenges into it. So from that perspective. How do you feel now about, you know, diving in? Because you know that's going to happen, right? With, with, with so, I, you know, I, I have to admit, like, I, I went in, I, I wanted to come in more from, you know, like, I, I love the industry, I love fashion, I love styling. I, you know, was never, I was never heavily involved in, in high fashion or glam fashion. Like, it's just not, it's just not my, not my forte and it's not even mm. something that I have an interest in. Mm-hmm. You know, I like sort of the, the day-to-day um, styling wardrobes that's that's really where, where I, what I enjoy and what I excel in more um, so stepping into like wh- how I want to step into because I do like the in, like the world is I wanted to host events mm-hmm. and that's how you and I connected originally and so you know I didn't think of, even when we you and I first got to chatting about working together was that it was going to even go to this extent and I'm you know I'm going to be involved more than just hosting some events that that we could work on together or you know that that I would be I'd be contracted for <clears throat> when we started doing our work a lot of that involved attending a lot of these events whether it's event correspondence or networking or whatever mm-hmm. the case and I and I have to admit like I went in with a pretty big bias because I didn't I've attended a couple of you know fashion week events before um very casually more just just to attend because I, I wanted to see what the trends were and I've, i always had this perception of you know fashion the fashion world being very, being very fake mm-hmm. right it's a lot of let me see what i can put on let me see what i can show let me walk around dressed in these these weird outfits that no one would ever wear and just you know t- I always found it like you know, people looking for attention and, and whether it's insecure, whatever it is, like I, I, I always found it to be a very fake world. Right. Um, and so the first couple of events that I attended, uh, so th- that I attended with you or we went to, that was, I was like, 
this I'm, 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 my thoughts are validated because it's all I'm seeing everywhere. Right. You know, people wearing these over the top hats and over the top clothes, and and then I'm also thinking like, like, dude, you're in Toronto. Who gives a shit? Like, no one's no one's looking at you. Like, you're mm. not. This is not. You're not going to be on a world stage wearing that outfit. No one's like. You're not going to pop up in some random magazine in the states because you're wearing that outfit. Like, why? Why are you doing that? Like, I just, I didn't, I didn't totally understand it. And and to be frank, like I said, I, I had a bias and I didn't give it the time of day because I was mm-hmm. just like, these, these people are weird. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. literally what I was thinking. Mm. But uh, as we would get more involved in some of the events um, and get more involved in having the regular discussions with some of these people, and, and like you know, some some of the, even the folks in your circle, it just it, and, 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 and I feel bad doing that because I, I I walked in like I said with a bias, but it's just like anybody else. Like I didn't I had a certain perception in my head walking mm-hmm. in, not giving them the time of day to understand what right. they're about and why they're they're doing these things and some of these people are like amazing like you know the conversations have they're very intelligent very you know like and I'm, I'm saying this like I'm sounding like a moron as I'm saying it I can hear myself talking <laughs> like why wouldn't they be intelligent like why am I already assuming that they won't be <laughs> but <clears throat> but it was it I mean it was, it was almost because I already had a mindset about it yeah I didn't my, my mind my mindset automatically made me think that people are going to be a certain way mm-hmm. like they're going to be ditzy they're gonna be yep. you know yeah, they're, yeah. you know th- their mind th- what their what their conversation levels are what they're gonna be uh, able to sort of relay over as their message like, it's just it's, it's i'm not gonna be able to relate to but i c- but i could because when we got to talking about the things that interest me in the fashion world and the things that interest them in the fashion world and then those lend, lend into some common elements and then we got into other conversations and you know i kind of got to see why why they're doing it like for example and i, and I never thought this about but about adrian because i i uh, who we who had on the show? Mm-hmm. Like I didn't think of him in this limelight, but you know he helped me really open my eyes too because he does his his fashion is is for a, a purpose like he's not doing everyday wear right 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 and so that was actually one of the conversations not because I thought of him that way but it helped me open my eyes up to other people that would be thinking the way mm-hmm. he thinks and he's like I'm trying to make a statement piece my yeah. goal is to bring these these things that are that are part of my childhood and that you know that that influenced me. Mm-hmm. And I and I want to put my spin on them. Yeah. So I in that I can really respect. Mm-hmm. And when you think about it from that perspective, and now the, I take that same message of branding, it may not be the exact same reasoning or justification, yeah, but if, for example, I'm at a, a show or an event, and there's someone standing there wearing, you know, a really ridiculous jacket with a hat that doesn't go, or like boots that you know don't necessarily work with the mm. outfit that I would regularly think of, you know, my my first thought now is not like, are they crazy? Like, what are they thinking wearing that? It's more like I wonder what the influences are I wonder what the motivation to put this yeah. outfit together the way it is because now it's like okay my the creativity side of me is, is thinking well there's there's something in the thought process there that mm-hmm. that I'm so intrigued about now so now it's not a bias it's more like now I'm intrigued when I see it and I and I think part of it's also mm-hmm. because you started seeing when I had to when I had to prep for a shoot right and the things that I'm running around doing and I think and then you would start seeing the final results and we've had that conversation where it's also like all this was done, and this is the picture. This is the image. But mm-hmm. how sick? Like how sick does that look? Yeah. Know, and, and so, right? so we'll we'll talk about that in a second. I, that's also um, different than when I'm when I'm seeing like photo shoots is a little bit different than than live. But it's like it's, in, it's different than it, like, what I'm you ta- I'm, talk- I'm talking about I'm talking about attending like if I'm attending an event. Yeah, yeah. You know, and seeing people who are not necessarily in the show or involved mm. with the show or mm-hmm. partaking in any way. You know, seeing them show up in a certain man, like my my whole thought again, like you're not walking the runway. Why are you wearing yeah. that? You're not gonna end up in some in in like Elle magazine or or Vogue or whatever. Why are you wearing that? Yeah. You know, like you're taking your own pictures and posting them on your own Instagram. Like nobody cares. Like why? Like what? Like again, like my my mindset was very, it was bad. It was not. It was not. Like I, I was I was not fair to what was. But being fair to what but was again, right? It's all about having. It's <coughs> all about again understanding the world you're in. Like I'll be honest, when I first heard of you, I just thought you were like a random party boy. Right. I had no respect in the sense of like how much hard work exactly. you like put into. When I when I heard that, oh, he does hosting and DJ, I'm like, eh, whatever. Like, like I didn't. Everybody does that, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, okay, whatever. What, like, what's the big deal? But then as we and like you said, as we started working on things, things, and I saw how much time and energy and all the stuff you had to do yes. to get to where you are today, right? My respect level changed, and now yes. and now I understand. So when I asked you for certain things, or or when I want you to be involved in certain things right there's a whole different thought process behind but it but i think and, but I, th- same thing. and I think that you hit a key message there and i think i think it's giving people people the opportunity to understand them right like we mm-hmm. we go in with certain biases 
into a, into any situation. Like now, I'm, we're talking about the fashion industry, but now when I talk about, a, you know, someone who's a, a corporate investment banker or a lawyer mm -hmm. or you know a car salesman, what like whatever whatever the industry is, I think we we have our our certain mindsets or or, or biases on in these yep. areas. And whether even we, even we do, I mean, we all do it with cultures with people from different backgrounds. You know, like different races like we it's not it's not it's not about being racist or or prejudice but it's it's almost like it's instilled in our brain brain that certain people are going to be a certain way and i think that's the bias and that's the mistake right but i i, I will say <coughs> that you and i we've come a long way with our with our experiences yes especially in the last year and with the way our mindsets have been changing um mine a little bit more so that we have touched upon that now anything that i do approach i start i don't i i i try and find something to understand about it like if yeah I, yeah you know what i mean but i usually i usually i usually try to take that perspective anyway in, in anything that i do but yeah you know but there's certain things like that like this when i walked into this world like again like I, my mm -hmm. mindset was very i'm like yeah, I, like, yeah, yeah. I, like i'm why am i going to give these people the time of day because and it's, it's almost you're not saying it and you're not totally feeling but like it's almost like you feel like you're better than them like you know what i mean it's not yeah and it's such a, it's such a terrible mindset to walk into these these kind of scenarios with because it, um, you're not walking with an open mind saying okay i'm here to understand mm -hmm. i mean that changed and, and i did and i and, and i still do all the time and, and also it's because my 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 involvement with fashion and what i enjoyed about it was again on the day-to-day -day personal, personal style personal wardrobe, level yes yeah, wardrobe you know wardrobe styling whereas these this the styles and when you're attending a high fashion event and you know and, and we we've had a number of discussions about this but you know understanding that side of the world is equally as important even to do the job that i'm trying to do in the in the world that i want to do it and and it and it took a while for you to say okay style me or let me now get styled because for a while no no i don't no no i'm no, I don't, but, that no, I wouldn't. no 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 like when you had to start working on the events that i was doing mm. right like to for someone who does not understand, or when you first started, who do not understand the high fashion world, or why people dress a certain way, or why we want I still can't things. style it. Like I, I don't like. I, I mean, I, I, I can probably do like a, a medium level job with it, but I, I you know, it's not because my vision isn't like that. Like I think, I think, and it, go, it goes back to even. I'll talk about uh, Pat uh, on our our partnership on the Freshly Dice side of our work. You know, I can put together. I can put together a a record. Like I can. I can put together produce a record but the level of creativity that pat has with it like i won't see it of course ever yeah, yeah. And, it, it's very and, it, and so i'll relate it back to to this world too like you know i'm i'm good at styling a guy from a day-to-day -day perspective but put me in an environment where i have to style a high a high fashion scenario could i get away with it probably to a degree but not to an extent that say for example you would or someone who who has that that innate level of creativity in that space right so so that's that's gonna that's gonna be that's gonna be for me to always understand and to, and I'm always going to appreciate that now because mm -hmm. now, because now I understand it from from the perspective of the world that I'm from. Like now, when I look at, for example, music, and I see, okay, I know my capabilities, and I know, you know, Pat's going to always be more creative than I than I than my mind will ever be. And so I, re but I respect that, and I respect his expertise and his talent there. But it's it's now that's the approach that's the my mindset even in the fashion world now because that, just because I don't understand it and I can't see that vision, it doesn't mean that it's 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 bad or it's anything less than what right. I'm able to do. Like right. I look at it now and so like you know I wish I had the ability to do that mm -hmm. to to style something like that because that that level of or that eye having that level of creativity is incredible to me. It's they're they're equivalent in the different worlds, mm -hmm. right? So now you relay that over to any world, whether it's someone who's a professional as uh, as a medical, someone who's a graphic designer, or, or whatever, like uh, you know someone who's in the car business. I wasn't relating relaying it to that perspective because it was so abstract to me that I didn't yeah. I didn't understand the the expertise and skill level that went into it or the almost like the 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 internal you know things that you you can't learn right yeah. the creativity level that that is just natural to some people and i wasn't giving it that chance and i think that's where i was wrong because and but it, and i and i you know i think about a lot of my friends that are not in that world and i'm very positive their mindset is probably what my mindset used to be mm -hmm. before i saw it and it's really sad because now looking at it from a different perspective and seeing it it is really sad because there there's so much there's such a high level of creativity and talent that that's involved in it, and it's in any in any world. It's like someone will you'll see like a, a you know a guy walking around with, for example, heels and you know like a like a, a female bow tie with a blouse, but the pa pairing with a blazer. Before I would have been like, the hell, but now it's like, oh, I, I look at it and I appreciate. Okay, there's there's a lot of thought that went into this. Yeah. 
right where I wouldn't have done that before. And whereas I know I know people that would still see that and still think what what, what my old old mindset would be, mm -hmm. right? So that that mind sh mind shift has happened over the course this year, which is a big step because it's understanding now. The good thing is that we we do our our work that we do speaks to both people in the fashion industry and not in the fashion industry. I'm hoping that people get a chance to hear things like this and and understand right. that you know there is a lot there's more to what meets the eye what meets the eye yeah, yeah. and there's a lot going on like, there's some very very talented people putting those things together and there's a reason behind like if, if you try to sit back and understand what they're doing and why they're doing mm -hmm. it it's it's incredible like the the level of talent and creativity that's involved in putting things like that together like i, and I go back to adrian because that was such an amazing con eye-opening conversation to me and just how he's put his style at the forefront and he's doing mm -hmm. amazing with it like well, he's getting calls from everywhere like I'm, I'm, I'm i have him on social media so i see the accomplishments he's making yeah. and there's a reason like there's a reason some like someone with his level of creativity and talent is being his it's doors being knocked yeah. down right yeah absolutely right so that that, that that was a big year for me from that perspective and, and learning and learning all those things i mean on the event planning side and the things that, that i get to work on with you i mean that's that's transferable whether I'm, it's it's in the music industry yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Or, corpor or a corporate event or whatever like uh, that i'm still seeing those are some of the things that are, are regular you're going to see everywhere just about applying it to this industry mm. um because you, you're every, in any situation you're trying to create an uh, you're trying to create an experience for the people that are there and and that you're that that's that goes with 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 it within any any sort of industry doing it so but i'm just like my my eye opening was specifically to the way fashion is perceived and we the raw talent that goes behind some of the things that we're seeing that we we just brush aside as being mm. weird or odd or not giving them the complete understanding they deserve so keeping with that mindset <coughs> um do you think there's something specific for 2020 now when you approach fashion that you want to accomplish well i think i think even in you know like i i think for the most part when i style in the world that I style in, I'm doing a lot of that anyway. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I'm, I'm pushing boundaries with the guys that I style because they're not used to mm -hmm. wearing something maybe that's as fitted or something that's a little bit more bold or something that, you know, is is not their regular everyday crew neck sweater. Like mm -hmm. you know, I'm I'm pushing their boundaries, and to an extent, I feel like they may look at when I style them, they may look at me in the same light that I was looking at some of these right. folks, because it's it's like, well, no, you're nuts. I would never wear that, and as I've styled some 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 of the guys that I work with and now that you know they're able to wear those mm -hmm. outfits confidently or some mm -hmm. of those I mean not necessarily that everything's gonna work for any but everything's gonna work for everybody but you know where we push the boundaries where I know it would look good on them and it would suit their personality and if if they just gave it a chance mm -hmm. it would work I feel like I feel like they they're I've pushed their boundaries and they've been able to see it themselves in a new right. light so I think it's just more more confidence in being able to do that you know i still keeping in mind that when i'm styling someone i'm styling them for the day-to-day -day. so it's not like they're going to come out with an equestrian hat like going to, a, <laughs> to, 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 an, a, to an equestrian horse racing show <laughs> <they can> have. <laughs> um but you know it may not be the right fit for them but they may be they may be open to putting on a style of a hat before that they haven't yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and in an environment where they it could work but they wouldn't have thought about it exactly. on their own right so so it's just it's things like that so you know it I will for me I I've been using it but I'm just I'm more confident in pushing some boundaries with some people where it's relevant or mm -hmm. where it's appropriate for them mm -hmm. where I know that they can they can pull this off and still get the looks and still get the respect of like like dude that's a really amazing like how did you think about it you know mm -hmm. what I mean that's the reaction I want them to receive I don't want them to do like I have a guy but I, like I want them to have that confidence someone walks in like right. that looks amazing and them to feel that confidence walking around because uh, the minute you hear that from someone your shoulders go back your head goes yeah, up like you, yeah. you walk around with a lot more confidence and that's what I want to that's yeah. what I want to deliver when I'm styling someone is I want that I want their internal confidence to build and become and become something different because uh, a lot of guys that don't have that it's because they don't they're not comfortable on their own and and we're we're on the same page of that even when i style anyone like especially when i did stuff for your sister and the feedback yeah. that, that we got like i was over the moon by it right and i don't usually style everyday people i'm yeah, still yeah. more fashion so but you but you built in a high fashion piece to it like it wasn't and i think that's one of the reasons that i think that you know you you and her connected on on doing that is is she knows when you're going to come in you're not going to do the everyday thing that she's seen everywhere like she wanted something unique and different mm -hmm. and and that goes back to that level of creativity and, and and talent that's almost innate like you're not you can't teach someone some of those things like those are things that are are internal in you and you bring those to the forefront and you you see you know she even i, I don't remember which one of the shoots it was and she's a and she's like she's like i 
like now I understand because she sees things differently, and it's true because that's like I look at when you do a shoot sometimes and I'm like, okay, I would, how, where'd you come <laughs> up with that from? Like, because it's it's not something that I would have ever thought of, you know. Yeah. And so, but you have a you have a natural eye for that stuff, and and that's that natural skill and talent has to be appreciated because that is not again that's not learned. You can't you can't go to school for fashion and necessarily, but you can be robotic and you can maybe come up with something similar or close to. But unless you naturally think that way, mm. and I go back to you being being amazing in that per- perspective in your profession. I look at Pat when he, like Pat, our partner in Fresh Dice. When he, when does, he does music, when yeah, he does music or anything like that. Like it's, you know, like he, he's even uh, he's a, he's a phenomenal chef. Like he he puts together flavors like you wouldn't even think these two flavors would ever go together, I know. right? And yeah. so like you 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 eat something he creates. And it's, and it's, you know, he'll come up with, like, it'll taste one way when you bite it. As you're chewing it, it'll taste another way. And as it goes down, it, it tastes, like, I don't, I'm like, how do you think about these? And, and especially when he explains he, like, it. He's like, you know, he's like, well, if you pair these two flavors together, he's like, here's the combination effect of what's going to mm-hmm. happen. I'm like, what are you, a scientist now? Like, how, how do you no, know that? And, and the best is when he gives <clears> you, a, like, like, when he tells you how to drink the wine with it, yes. too. You're, 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 like. You don't think about it. If I ate. Every day, if Pat cooked and I ate that every day, I'd be the size of a house. I'd be the size of your house. Yeah, I'll, yeah, be, I'll, yeah. I'll be honest with you. I mean, like, so, and so but again, again, it goes back to, and the thing is, yes, he understands, he's done some schooling for it, but... Some things are just not there's, taught. There's, so there, not every chef can do what he does. Absolutely. Right? Not every stylist can do what you do. Not every, not every music producer can do what he does. You know what I mean? There's, there's an innate natural creative ability within that person that they that they you have to appreciate and respect and that's i think that's where it's just you know i had that for for him and certain people in certain industries oh there's our phone again <laughs> we seem to not turn our phone ringers off no what what's what's going on with that oh that's fine okay. um so so you, you know you you see that and when it comes to the fashion industry and like and, and that's that's where I said, you know, if I if I approach it from the perspective that I look at other skill sets or other peop- mm. people other talents or other industries, then that's where I, where I was able to step back and be like, Holy crap, like this is amazing. Right. Right? Because it's get it. that fashion, like that they've taken their blank canvas, which is the person mm-hmm. and and built them into something. Yeah. Right? So and I'm gonna um now add something new to our podcast. What are your five, so what are the five takeaways from this? So what are the five tips or advice? We've done this before. We just, we didn't continue it. No, you started it with guests and then just, we just let it go. But now I plan to do that with you, especially when you're like, you know, learning something new or sharing something new. I can throw my tea at you if you want. Uh, Please don't do that. (laughs) Okay. Sorry. So what was your question? My five takeaways? Your, your five, your five tips or advice to our, 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 our listeners from this conversation. Um, so I think I think having that's that's hard. I think having respect for other others just when you don't understand what's happening. Like okay. I think um, being being understanding of a person, a place, a situation, and not automatically mm-hmm. judging. Those are two of them, three of them. So respect, understanding, uh, and not judging. Okay. Right, because yeah, I mean, a lot of times we, I would just, I, I judged, and that's that's what what I, what I did in those scenarios. Okay. <coughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna sum it up in those three. I said five. No, those are, those are good. Five. Three is good. I think two more. Two more. Three, Come is, on. three is good because it, 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 like there's middle, but they're they're all they're all combined in there. Like I, when I talk about understanding people, when I talk about giving them a chance, when I talk about being appreciative of, of what's around you, and like they're all they're all related to to those three sort of. I would say also Good having times. like your like self like confidence, right? About now like attending these events and <laughs> in, in and holding your ground on certain things too. I would do that anyway. I meant it's a takeaway for other people. It is. Oh so my god. So those those are my three. Okay? okay. That's where we're gonna end it. So Dear God. That was the show for today because I wanted to really get into And I'm very glad you did. Yeah, and share some of those thoughts. So everybody in that industry, please no hate. It's all love. And I'm sorry if I sh- offended anybody with it. Until the next time. All right. See you guys next week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you for watching that podcast or that video. Um, If you like what you hear and you want to hear more of us and see some of our behind the scenes stuff, subscribe below. Yes, hit that little red like, you know, button thingy that's over there and hit subscribe and keep following us for a lot more cool fun stuff. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you soon.